Good evening. Uh, we present the news uh, summary. From next year, all government employees will be placed on a performance contract aimed at increasing the level of productivity in the public sector. Vice President Ahmed Afif was at the National Assembly, was in the National Assembly this morning to explain the new employee performance evaluation system, which he said will not replace the existing employment contract. The new system will allow a continuous evaluation of the employee throughout the year with the support of a line manager. Mr. Vincent Samson, a 53-year-old man of Le Canel, en Soyal, has received a 15-year prison sentence after being found guilty for offences associated with human trafficking. Samson committed the offence between 2018 and October 2020. He has been given two sentences, a 15-year term and 10-year term imprisonment. However, the judge has ordered that the two sentences run concurrently, which means that he will serve only 15 years in prison, while uh, the time he ha that he has been remanded in police custody will also be deducted from his sentence. The victim in question is a 41-year-old Seshulwa man who is actually in Iran or Pakistan as guarantee in certain illegal drug trafficking transactions. The Court of Appeal has mentioned the appeal of Sindhu Parekh. Parekh was sentenced to life imprisonment on the 3rd of last month for the death of Beni Apasami. His lawyer, Basil Waru, filed the appeal on the basis that his client was judged by a jury and that uh, goes against the Constitution. The President of the Court of Appeal, Anthony Fernando, has set for the case to be heard at uh, a later date as the Court of Appeal are yet to receive all the documents uh, pertaining to the case. Motorists should see changes uh, in uh, the demarcation on the road from uh, Pangya Hotel to Eden Island Roundabout in uh, Wash Kaima tomorrow. The Chief Executive Officer of the Land Transport Agency, Parinda Herat, made the announcement only two days after new demarcations have been drawn on the stretch of road. Motorists have raised, had raised concerns over the safety when driving in the area. Late this afternoon, Mr. Herod said that they are receiving, they are reviewing their decision for safety reason after some observation they themselves had made during the past two days. Plaisance Secondary School and the Seychelles Business Studies Academy came out first in the school public speaking competition. The final was held yesterday at the ICCS. Four teams were competing and each team had three members. They were asked to debate on the theme chosen for this year, Let Children Be Children. This was a new summary. Thank you for your attention.